I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, cause I like the G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Nathan Line career mode in Don Bradman Cricket 17. And as you can see there, in this episode, we're going to be playing the final in this tri-series against India and Pakistan. And it is against Pakistan, by the way. Um, the, us and uh, Pakistan were the better teams in the competition. India, I think they only won a single game in uh, the series. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a pretty important episode. I think we've had a couple of bits of silverware before. But uh, yeah, here's another one we could possibly get. Um, before that, though, I reckon we've got some skill points. 26,000, not too many, but we'll just spend them real quickly. Um, so we've got a bowling, and they'll, be re they'll go down very quickly because look at that. Everything's so expensive once they get in a higher rating, which makes sense, obviously. But um, we'll put the top spinner up a bit, and that's all we can afford. So yeah, that'll do it. And uh, yeah, I suppose we'll head straight into the final of this tri-series. It's against Pakistan, and uh, let's hope we can come out with a bit of silverware. And uh, yeah. Alrighty, here we are for the final of this tri-series. This one's at the SCG. There's the two teams, and uh, we're heading to the toss. Hopefully win it for once. It's been a while, I'm pretty sure. Davey Warner flips the coin, and of, co of, course, we don't, we don't, of course we don't win the toss, but uh, Pakistan choose to bat. So let's hope we can knock over a few early wickets and then come out and win the final with our bat, basically. Here's the two batsmen. Definitely get Azar Ali out, as I say, every episode because uh, he's in a bit of form. He's, he always seems to be in a bit of form. But uh, we'll skip it. And right, we're straight into it. No wickets, don't think. No, none for 28 so far. And they're looking at about 280 at the moment. So let's grab a couple early wickets and uh, make things a bit easier for ourselves. Alright, so I've had a few comments recently uh, saying that I should bowl around the wicket to left-handers, which I probably should. I always forget to do that, but uh, we'll do that now, and hopefully it'll bring us a couple of wickets. that will be just great. Ooh, good delivery, and it's another dot, so two deliveries left in this over, and two from it. So, uh, yeah, wouldn't mind a wicket in the first over, wouldn't that be just great? But it's... Oh, he's flicked that one around. Pretty good shot for him, I guess. And they'll get another single. All right, so just as we bowl the final over in the 10th over uh, in this match, as you can see there, Pakistan and none for 59, and Aslam on 32, Azarali on 27. So they're starting to get a bit of a wriggle on. Um, so it's definitely important to get a few wickets now. And then, uh, you know... Ooh, can there be a catch there? No way. Ooh, jeez, I swear. Could have been. Um, I didn't realise that guy was there. I think that was four off that over, so that wasn't too bad. And we'll move on. Oh, geez, that's a very nice shot. I was about to say that we're on track for a maiden, but he's just, um, what's the word, leg glanced that for four. And, yeah, great shot. Have a look at the replay. Caught it very fine, just past the fieldsman. And uh, it's a pretty classy shot from Sami Aslam. He's uh, on track for his 50, uh, as well as, as our alley. Terrible delivery, and he's almost done the same. That one might be four, though. Probably three. I'm pretty sure we get three. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. What's going on here? Trouble. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's that's just unfortunate, I guess. They uh, they worked it out in the end. Could have been a run out there. That would have been great. But, uh, oh, jeez. Azarelli's out for 43. I think it was Mitchell Stark, and we finally get the breakthrough, although... We've come back with a bit of a break, and they're one for 180. Have a look at Aslam. Six more runs, and he's got his 100. Tell you what, he's going for it, but uh, let's hope. Ooh, catch. Maybe not. I did have a fieldsman at square leg, but this game sometimes, it just changes the field, and uh, yeah. Oh, he's bloody... <laughs> I tell you what, some of these shots, he's timing them perfectly, and uh, yeah, it could be four... No, they'll, go, they'll come back for a third, and that might be his 100. We'll have a look. Pretty sure. Yep, there it is. Sami Aslam, 100 runs. And um, it wasn't one of those bullshit 100s that you see every now and then in this game. It was probably is definitely well-deserved, um, so we'll give him that one. But now we want to get him out. He's got his 100. He's had his fun, and now it's time to get him out. Oh, God, so close once again. Oh my god, he's gone. 105 
and out. That was, that just come out of nowhere, that wicket. I, um, I thought I'd bowl a real wide one, and it somehow worked. He went for it, baited him in, and we finally get Sami Aslam out. Jeez, it's been a while, and we get our first wicket as well. And it's a good catch, whoever it was. It was James Faulkner there, number 44. And, um, yeah, I'll take that end out of the week. Babarazm comes in. Finally, one for 35 after nearly seven overs. So, uh, yeah, finally get our wicket. Can it be a second in one over? Oh, maybe not. That's a pretty good shot. It rolls along the ground and hits the rope. Oh, beautiful catch. And we get Babarazm out this time. That's our second wicket. Sean Tate at slip. Pretty weird position for a bowler to be, but uh, nevertheless, that is our second wicket, and he is gone. What a catch as well. Let's check out the replay there. We've had some absolute ripper of catches in this series, and here's another one right here. Let's check it out. Very thick edge, and beautiful catch. Sean Tate. That's a Steve Smith-like catch right there, diving to his right. And Umar Akmal comes out to the crease. Finally, things are starting to happen. This could possibly be a wicket maiden, and wouldn't that just be great? Um, try and get things started and get a few more wickets after this. Oh, good shot, I guess, for a first ball. And there it is. We get our first maiden of the match, and to make things even better, it's a wicket maiden. Terrible delivery. Oh, maybe not. There's another wicket, and there's another wicket maiden as well. Two in a row, and uh, yeah, after this run away, final over. And can we get another wicket maiden? Maybe even a double wicket maiden, who knows? But he's not going to uh, appeal that one. And uh, Ms. Barr's gone for 67 off the air. was 67, there it is. And when we get the chance to, we'll skip. And, oh, geez, not a good start. Steadies a little bit. And I'm pretty sure we've lost, actually. I don't think we've made the target. And, oh, mate, geez. I thought the game was ended, but we're bloody in. We need 102 or 49. I'm just going to pause for a second so I can uh, sort of figure a few things out, just so I don't choke here. But, uh, yeah, straight into it. Just want to check the scores. So, James Faulkner, 27 not out. Oh, look at David Warner. He got bowled on 97. That's just heartbreak right there. Kawaji with 44, nearly with a 50. And uh, Pakistan's innings... 105 for Maslam, as we know. Mizbar with 67. And then the third highest score for them was Ahmed with 33. So I guess we're heading away our batting innings uh, with Nathan Lyon. Hopefully hit a few runs. And, uh, yeah. Alrighty, here's our first ball. Didn't quite catch the field. We'll advance and we'll get a single if he runs. There he goes. And uh, got there just in the end. 7 for 204 we are. Oh, beautiful shot, guys. And that is a boundary. That's definitely what we want. We need 12.63 and over. And, uh, yeah, we're currently going at five. So instead of valuing our wicket, I think we just need to go for it because we need 12 and over. And uh, you're not going to get 12 by just blocking him out. There's another run if we make it. Jeez. He takes a while to run, doesn't he? Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Is it six? Yes, it is. 80 metres. Beautiful shot. And that will boost our like, run rate up a little bit. Definitely need a couple more of those if we want to win this match and win the series. The bloody big game, this one. Good shot once again. We're timing them beautifully at the moment. There's another four. And we're up, we're up to ten in this over. Four deliveries left. So you'd think we'd be able to pass the run rate in this over. And hopefully reduce it a little bit. Pops one up, we hit it again. Will it be four? It's pretty slow. There's no fieldsman out there, though. And I reckon it's going to get there in the end. Yes, it does. Bloody hell. 14 off this over. There's only been three deliveries. Eventually got to the rope. We're killing them at the moment. Um, finally, the fieldsman's gone out. Took him a while. Looks like we lost a wicket, though. I'm not sure who it was. Can't remember who I was batting with. Oh, good shot, and that is four. They've got all the fieldsmen up, and they're just not... I mean, they had them out, but they brought them back in for a Freddy, and, uh, yeah, we're killing them. Still, the, yeah, they've brought all the fieldsmen back in. Not a very smart decision. We're on 28 off 10. 
And there's another beautiful shot. That is six. Thank you very much. Why can't we do this in the Cam Linda career mode? I just don't get it. But the way we're on 34, I'm pretty sure. And there we go. Field's been changed. Back to that regular one where it, it probably should have stayed there because we're just smashing them over the fence at the moment. Oh, jeez, I thought that was going to be caught. Won't be six, but it is another four. And this is just amazing. Takes us to 38. We need 61 off 31. And that run rate's probably decreasing drastically. And I reckon the Pakistani captain is starting a get starting to get a little uh, frustrated because there is another boundary I'm just going for them usually if I did this I'd be straight out but it's just things are just happening at the moment I'm timing them beautifully and we're looking good for the win if I can keep this up bloody hell Muhammad Amir the quickie comes back I think it's over I don't, I don't even think it's mathematically possible for us to win it still is oh no yeah it still is we need seven sixes in a row for us to win this game and Yep, there it is, I think. That's the game. It'd be nice if we finish not out. That'd be good. Get something good out of this game. But, um, yeah, here's the final over. It's Yassir Shah. And that's it, I reckon. Oh, no, we got five, del or no, four deliveries left, sorry. And we're just going to go for it. We can't win, but let's go out with a bang. Badly timed shot. We'll get a four for it, and that takes it to 60. Beautiful shot once again. And that's another six. I should be happy with that, but we just we haven't got the win. We lose the series, or the tri-series, I should call it. Oh, it's a bit disappointing. We've done all this work, and uh, I think it'll come down to if we can get there. It's going to be tight. Oh, we get there in the end, and it'll be Mitchell Johnson to face the final delivery. He needs 29 off this one ball. Can he do it? You never know. No, he definitely won't. You see Shah to Johnson. And we'll get a run, maybe. Yes. We stay uh, not out, so we finish 67. That's actually our shirt number, or Nathan Nine's shirt number, 67. That's a pretty good omen, I suppose. And wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. They're lifting the trophy. Oh, that's tough to watch. Why couldn't that be us up there? We lose by 27 runs. And as I said before, it probably just come down to our opening batsman. I mean, David Warner, he absolutely killed him. Couldn't get his uh, century, unfortunately. But Finch and Smith, they probably let us down a fair bit. Finch with one, Smith with five. So, uh, yeah. Can't dwell on it too much, though. We'll head back to the main menus and we'll wrap this video up. Even though we didn't get the win, we had a pretty good game individually. I think we had, like, two or three wickets. I think it was three. I can't quite remember. And then we got a, a 50, so that's great. Um, but, yeah, we'll... Simulate this and it looks like we'll just see what, what's uh, what's what we're gonna do in the next episode If I can spit that bloody sentence out and as you can see here, we've got an offer from uh, Australia Which makes sense um, to be in the Zimbabwe ODI tri-series We'll accept that and I guess that's what we'll be doing in the next episode But for this one that'll do it and uh, if you've enjoyed it make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for future content And I'll catch you guys in the next one